Hello, everyone. This is Richard from Modern Healthspan. Two months ago, we started our test of NAC drops for our eyes, and we have been looking for other eye-related resources. We recently saw a review paper that was published three days ago about omega-3 fatty acids and eye health. This is the paper. It is a review looking at the intake of long-chain polyunsaturated fats and macular degeneration. Without going into any of the details, at a high level, the paper showed that higher dietary omega-3s were associated with slower progression of the disease. And the highest consumption of DHA reduced the risk of the disease by 39%, and for EPA by 32%. We are happy that we are already taking an omega-3 supplement. We use Bulletproof Omega Krill Complex as it has a high amount of both EPA and DHA, and we think that the quality is good. As well as eye health, omega-3 fats have several other health benefits, and one of our questions was whether the health benefits translated into improved longevity. There was a study on this question. Let's have a look at it. First, a disclaimer that in this video, we are sharing a study that we found interesting. It is not a recommendation or medical advice. Here is the study using an erythrocyte fatty acid fingerprint to predict risk of all-cause mortality, the Framingham offspring cohort. A few things to mention here. An erythrocyte is the scientific name for a red blood cell. Red blood cells, like all cells, have two-layered wall of fatty acids, which make up the membrane of the cell. Here they are looking for what percentage of these fats are omega-3s. The study used data from the Framingham Heart Study, in particular, the offspring of the first group of people included in the study. Therefore, this is an observational study, not interventional, and all we can see is a relationship, not a causation. In a bit more detail, the aim of the study was to compare red blood cell fatty acid levels to other known markers of risk for cardiovascular disease in predicting all-cause mortality. Here are the standard risk factors that they were comparing against age, sex, total cholesterol, HDL cholesterol, hypertension, systolic blood pressure, smoking status, and diabetes. 2,240 participants met their criteria, and the follow-up was for 11 years. Here is the key result that they saw. Those with a high O3i or omega-3 index had better predicted longevity outcome. Indeed, it actually had the same impact as whether the participant was a smoker or not. Where the high omega-3 index with smoking was the same as the low omega-3 without smoking. So why might this be? Let's have a look at a few papers which show the benefits of omega-3s, particularly to heart health. The first effect is to reduce blood triglycerides, a known marker of CVD risk. From this paper, in their results, they saw that for the group taking two grams of omega-3 a day, fasting triglycerides were 31% less than those in the placebos group. The second was looking at other improvements in blood lipid panel. In this case, specifically after meals, as spikes in the triglycerides and VLDL after meals has been related to the buildup of plaque in arteries. In the graphs, where they compare the treatment group who were taking four grams of omega-3s a day to a placebo, we can see again that triglycerides are lower. Also the remnant lipoprotein and the APOB, a marker of LDL cholesterol. What is remnant lipoprotein? They are very low density lipoproteins from which triglycerides have been removed and are strongly atherogenic. And the final case is lower inflammation. For that, we look at this paper, an interventional study where the treatment group took two grams of fish oil. They looked for markers of inflammation, such as TNF-alpha and interleukin-6, where they saw a decrease in triglycerides as well as TNF-alpha. They also saw a significant improvement in the FMD, or flow-mediated dilation. This is the widening of arteries when blood flow is increased. A low FMD is predictive of cardiovascular disease. Analysis of the results showed a link between the decreased TNF-alpha and the increased FMD. The dose of omega-3 supplementation in the studies was either 2 or 4 grams per day. 
To get close to that dose, we use Bulletproof Omega Krill Complex because it has 1,580 milligrams of omega-3, of which 885 are EPA and 480 are DHA, as well as other ingredients such as astaxanthin. We are very happy that Bulletproof has given us a special discount of 15% for our audience, which is available with the code HEALTHSPAN15.